Hey, it might seem like today, nothing's easier than doing the laundry. You just toss your well-worn clothing into a washing machine, and in no time it comes out clean, right? Well, while I can't argue with this approach, there are several tips that can make your laundry day much more fun. For example, I always put wet wipes into the washing machine before stuffing my clothes inside. And I do it for a reason. If you have a pet or love dark clothing, you're definitely familiar with this irritating problem. You put your squeaky clean clothes out of the washing machine, and what do you see? Right, they're covered in fluff and animal hair all over. Ugh. And that's exactly why I wash my stuff together with wet wipes. Take several wipes, put them in the washing machine, and load your laundry. During the process, the wipes will be moving around the washing machine's drum and collect fluff and hairs. But despite the simplicity of this method, pay attention to these crucial points. Never use the same wipes twice. Don't choose scented wet wipes, otherwise your clothes can absorb the smell. Wet wipes should be dense enough to not tear inside the machine. The best idea is to use antibacterial wet wipes. If you haven't found scentless wet wipes, use some fabric softener. It'll neutralize the smell. Use no more than three wet wipes at a time. It's a pretty cool trick that can make your laundry results much more satisfying. But that's not the only tip I have for you today. Put two dishwasher tablets into the drum of your washing machine and run a hot cycle with the machine empty. This way, you'll get rid of microbes, dirt, and even lime scale. Coca-Cola can help you get rid of blood stains. You can soak the soiled piece of clothing in the soda overnight for the best result. However, it might not be the best idea to use this method for white clothes. Put a couple of tennis balls into the washing machine whenever you wash your down jackets. The balls will keep the down fluffed up, and they'll also remove all the foam. Besides, you can add two or three tennis balls into the dryer together with pillows, comforters, and whatnot. They'll help your linen dry faster and remain fluffy and nice. Remember to make sure to use clean tennis balls. Also, you can wrap them in old socks so that the green fluffiness doesn't stick to your clothes. Add two cups of strong coffee or tea when you wash black clothes. These drinks act as a natural dye that will revive and strengthen the item's original color. Throw some ice cubes into the dryer, and you'll get rid of wrinkles on your clothes. At the same time, don't use too many ice cubes, and don't fill your dryer to the brim with too many pieces of clothing. Use balls made of aluminum foil to fight static buildup in the dryer. One aluminum ball can serve you for about half a year before you have to switch to a new one. Your bed linen and clothes will be a lot softer if you put several neutral-colored balls of wool into the dryer. Even if you've accidentally washed your load of whites with a bright red sock, and let's admit it, these things happen even to the best of us, you still have a chance to save your clothes. Mix a solution of warm water and baking soda with half a cup of detergent and half a cup of salt and soak your ruined clothes in the solution before putting them in the dryer. If everything goes well, you'll get your stuff back as snow white as before. Cornstarch comes in handy when you need to deal with grease stains. Apply it directly on the dirty spot and leave it there for a couple of minutes. After that, put a clean, thin cloth on the grease stain and iron with high heat. All the oil will get absorbed by the cornstarch. You can use chalk to remove grease stains as well. Rub a bit of chalk into the dirty spot and wash the item as usual. Also, to make grease stains disappear, you can use dish detergent. Apply it on the dirty spot and rub until it gets all bubbly. After that, throw the item into the washing machine. And yet another way to get rid of grease stains is artificial sweetener. Didn't expect that one, did you? Just sprinkle it on a fresh grease spot and then blot until all the evidence of your pizza dinner is gone. Wait a minute, pizza? And you didn't invite me? (laughs) Ever wonder where all those lost socks went? I don't know either, but I know a great way to prevent them from disappearing. Put the socks of each family member in their own lingerie bag. These bags will later go through the washing machine and the dryer without a single sock getting lost. Shirts tend to collect all your body oil on their collars. But this isn't a problem as long as you remember that shampoo is just the thing to get rid of rings around the collar. 
to prevent the colors of your new clothes from fading, add half a cup of salt before washing them. While washing your towels, pour some vinegar in the fabric softener cup. It'll effectively replace dryer sheets. A handful of aspirin thrown in with a load of whites will brighten the clothing and remove yellow stains and that headache it gave you. Half a cup of white vinegar will save dark denim from fading. To prevent mold and mildew from growing inside your washing machine, ooh, put half a cup of borax, which is a natural alkaline mineral salt, together with your laundry load. Borax is also effective when you need to get rid of tough stains left by grass, coffee, and markers. Put a stained piece of clothing in a solution made of one cup of warm water and half a cup of borax. Let it soak for an hour, then wash. Want to know the best thing about this method? It's safe, even for the most delicate fabrics. To get rid of pet smells on your clothing, ooh, mix a cup of laundry detergent with a half a cup of vinegar and wash as you always do. When your jeans rub against other clothes in the washing machine, they gradually lose their color. To minimize this unwanted effect, turn your jeans inside out before putting them in the washer. If a piece of clothing comes out of the washing machine with a stain still on it, don't put it in the dryer. Otherwise, the heat will set the stain, and it'll be way harder to get rid of it. Both hand sanitizer and hairspray are powerful solvents that can help you to remove ink stains from your clothes. Saturate the stain with one of these products, leave it this way for about 10 minutes, and then wash as usual. Slice a lemon or two and toss the pieces into a pot of water. Boil the water, turn off the heat, and put your white clothing that's become dull into the pot. Leave it to soak for an hour, then wash as usual. However, you should make sure that the particular fabric can withstand the heat. If your jeans have grass stains on them, mix 2 tablespoons of hydrogen peroxide with 1 tablespoon of dish soap. Apply this mixture on the grass stains, let it sit, then wash your jeans as usual. To get rid of annoyingly yellow armpit stains on your clothing, sponge the affected area with a solution made of table salt and hot water, then wash as you always do. Also, you can pour a solution of equal parts water and hydrogen peroxide on the sweat stains and leave it for a half an hour before washing. But do not use this method on colored clothes. Rubbing some white vinegar directly into the armpit stains before washing is another effective way to make your clothing spotless again. And that closes this segment on clothes. So how about you? Do you know any other laundry tips you can share? Then let me know down in the comments. If you learned something new today, then give this video a like and share it with a friend. But hey, don't go kicking those stains in the butt just yet. We have over 2,000 cool videos for you to check out right here. So, all you have to do is pick the left or right video, click on it, and enjoy. Stay on the bright side of life.